Today on this equipment trailer, we'll be installing the Peterson Thin Red Line Identification Light Bar for trailers over 80 inches wide, part number 136-3R. As you can see here, our old 3-bar light bar is all broken up and needs to be replaced. To do this, we'll go ahead and snip the wire that's underneath so that we can pull it out, as well as removing the two self-tapping screws that were already in it. Now we're ready to go ahead and reinstall our new light bar. To do this, we will use one butt connector and two self-tapping screws. Now before installing the actual new light, on this trailer there was already a hole where we'll be able to push the wire through. The grounding for this light will be done through the two mounting screws as it mounts to the trailer. Now to keep our self-tapping screws from breaking off in the trailer since this trailer has a rather thick wall to the frame, we'll go ahead and pre-drill the holes so that we don't break any of the self-tapping screws off. A quick tech tip, when installing the self-tapping screws, make sure that the wires that are part of the light do not interfere with where your screw will be going through. You may need to bend the wires around them to allow them to fit into place properly. With each of the holes pre-drilled, now we're ready to go ahead and install our self-tapping screws and secure the light to the rear of the trailer. Now that we have each of the self-tapping screws in, we can go ahead and go under the trailer and make our wire connection. To do this, we will strip a little bit of the wire on each end, one from the trailer wiring harness, as well as the wire that coming out of the back of the light. Now we use a butt connector here to make our connection, as well as some electrical tape to help protect the connection as well. Once those are crimped down, we'll wrap them up with some electrical tape. Now that we have our connection made, now we're ready to go ahead and test to make sure that our light works. This 3 bar light is tied in with your running light circuit, so that's how it should come on. If you don't have a tester, you can just hook it up to your tow vehicle and turn the running lights on to check it as well. As you can see here, the 3 bar light is working just fine. And with that, that'll complete the installation of our Peterson Thin Line Red Identification Light Bar, part number 136-3R.